Oh, we're going to play ourselves some River City Ransom EX. What's the EX stand for? I have no idea. That much I can tell you. So, there's no files. That's fine, though. And I'll get into file loading because we're going to be reloading from the start of the game a few times as we go through on this play. This game's actually designed for you to reload from the start several times over. Anyway, I'm going to be playing as Alex, all by him lonesome. You can choose how many of allies you get in your team. You can recruit people to your team. Some are easier, easier to recruit than others. Some of them maybe aren't that good. Some are better than others. We'll get to that. And this just tells you how many enemy can be on the screen at one time. So you can have up to four or as little as one. And level normal, that's fine. You put the harder, higher you put them, the harder they hit and the more stamina they have. Basically, the more likely they are to attack the crap out of you. Attack rule for allies. Let's go with varied. Text people go with normal. Alright. And we can also... Wait. What else can we do here? Brightness? That just seems silly. We're not going to worry about that. Anyway, I guess we'll start with that and see how we do. And your story will differ depending on what group you pick. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Because it's Ryan's girlfriend we're trying to rescue, I believe. I think Alex is someone from Crosstown, from Crosstown High Wars. I think Ryan's from the actual t place in trouble. Anyway, both of them start with uh, different skills. Uh, and in this case, since I'm using Alex, he gets Dragon Feet, which allows him to kick rapidly and do some decent damage. And uh, you'll see me do this a lot. Running attacks in this game, like basically double the, the damage you deal. And as veterans of the game can tell you, there are some pretty hilarious gangs to be seen in this game. Alright, fine. Be a jerk then. Fall over. Hey! Did you run away? Oh, you're a jerk. Anyway, the idea is to clear each screen, collect money from their fallen corpses, and uh, buy stuff with it to improve your stats. Ah, uh, the generic dudes. The worst gang in the game. They uh, can do some funny stuff. Anyway, let's go in here. Go to our status. This shows you all your different uh, stats, and as you can tell, right now we are pretty weak and pathetic. That much is for sure. Oh, we can change the name. Well, put your suggestions for names. I'll probably just ignore them, but you never know. Maybe you'll get lucky. As for strategy, I have no posse, so that won't do any good, but you could tell them what to do. File, there's no character data. You can't do anything. I think you could load different uh, datas and stuff. And this just shows you what techniques you have. If you go over to use, it'll tell you how to do it. In this case, just hit the B button to do a dragon kick. I said dragon feet, but you know, whatever. And this log tells you what, what your attack things are. And one of the important things to pay attention to is the foul play meter in the bottom right. Right now I've done nothing foul. Foul play movements, which also counts for a invisible stat called honor, or respect I guess, is, um, is it, it, you can get stuff, you can get negative effects on these two by doing like kicking guys when they're down, or attacking them while they're talking to you, or using cheap attacks over and over and over, or pegging them as they're still flying through the air. So you want to try to keep that down as much as you can. You can also reset it, but that doesn't affect the invisible stat. That's the important one. Alright. And this just tells you how you can do all the different uh, different stuff here. Speed. Just change the speed of the game. Weapon throw. Attack balance. Weapon balance. You know, damage. Same thing. Gravity affects, I think, how well you can jump. Obstacles. Nah. Restock. Normal. That's cool. Enemies is how many enemies will show up from each gang. You can pick 10 or 20. So if you pick 20, you have to beat 20 gang members on one screen if you want to defeat all of them. So, you know, we'll keep it at 10 for now. But you, they all have unique names. You can do some pretty cool stuff. So where was I? Oh, yes, I was trying to beat up the, uh, the jerk faces here. All right, fine. That <laughs> sucker. <laughs> I love doing that. Also, you can do stuff like this. Stuff like that can be thrown off the, uh, or kicked into them, which is pretty cool. Hey, hey. Oh yeah, you can also do throwing attacks, which are pretty hilarious. And that's not considered cheap, by the way. There's something satisfying about doing that. That's actually a really good way early in the game to take out boss enemies. Is to, uh, to grab them, let them jump off, and then you kick them or punch them with your special skill. And then, you will just uh, pick them up and repeat over and over. I'll demonstrate once I get to a boss here. 
Anyway, these are all the... Anytime you get to a mall, you can go to shops and stuff. You can buy food to help restore your stamina and willpower. You can actually... There's certain stuff that will raise other stats. But I don't think there's anything of too much interest in this town. I usually try to use... There's two shops later I try to use to help uh, increase my stats. As you will soon see. And bookstores, you can buy some decent stuff in bookstores. You can also buy... Uh, some pretty cool stuff like uh, techniques like killer kicks, the acro circus for instance, or the kickstand. Those are all attack capabilities. The acro circus is the cheapest move in the game. And by cheapest I don't mean price. I mean you get that, you're invincible. But it's also really, really, really dirty. So I'm not going to use it. Oh, we are not fighting these guys. Well, accidentally perhaps. The reason I'm not fighting them is they just chuck rocks all the time. Oh, there's no one here at the Sherman Park. You know what, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I can recruit somebody back near the start with uh, Alex. Actually, I can technically recruit two people with Alex. If I beat up en if I beat up the generic dudes enough times, I could recruit their gang leader to my side. And uh, a lot of the gangs, they're not actually affiliated, but they all kind of, uh, they all kind of take advantage of the mayhem in the streets here to run wild. Ha, <laughs> sucker. Jump kick. That is one tough bugger. Get up. Oh, uh, I was hoping that hit him. Come on. Get your mascara wearing ass over here. Oh, you jerk. You're gonna die sometime soon. There you go, Roy. That is your real name, Roy. Anyway. Oh, I hear music. That's usually boss music, but this time, it's Gary, who seems to be a real fan of Prince. And you know what? We will take Gary. There is a lot of people to recruit. I'm going to have to make multiple trips through the game to show them all off. So we'll start with Gary. Yeah, Gary. Really. Thanks, buddy. So, you want to see what your partners look like? You press up or down in here. So, as you can see, he's better than us <laughs> in every single stat. So he'll be helpful to have along. And I, so I'm a big fan of just running and jumping because, hey... What would be more fun than doing a jump that huge? Oh, triple punch all the way across their Fios. Now, weapons used by uh, allies can hit each other. Their regular punching actually can't hit one. You can't hit one another. But weapon-wise, yes, absolutely you can. And your partners don't pay any attention to where you are. I probably got some foul play for that. Yeah, I'm already up to like 4.5%. Oh, right in the face, dude. That's got enough feel good. Actually, you can punch your ally. I thought they thought you could at least avoid that type of damage. I wish Roy would die a little sooner here. Ah, oh, see, your partners are not the most aggressive lot. All right, so now if I go back over here, will will the leader of the generic dudes be there? I'm not going to recruit them. Nah, screw that. Let's just get going here. I want to at least fight one boss today. But this is basically what the game's going to be at the first. It's going to be a <laughs> nice. It's going to be me spending a lot of time cranking uh, enemies here. Oh, thanks a lot, Gary. That stupid lunge punch of his just cost me all of my stamina. That's why having a partner is a pain in the ass, and I often don't fight with them on my side. But if I do, I stay as far away from them as I can. Oh, good lord, I'm getting my ass kicked here. There we go. Hopefully he's going to kill some of them for me over there while I'm uh, busy here. Probably not. Ow, Gary, that wasn't so nice. See, this is why it's dangerous to be around Gary. There's Conan. <laughs> Doesn't look like Conan O'Brien at all. Yeah, leader of the, of the generic dude. Still the best gang name ever. Yeah, see, not everyone's actually out to get you. Yeah, okay. A goal. That's to beat the crap out of everybody. That's my goal. And we can't attack Conan. And the reason I won't take Conan is he has, when he gets hurt and almost dead, he has an attack called Big Bang, which is him farting. And it hurts everybody on screen, including your hit you and your allies. And actually... The way he works is he brings the generic dudes with him. As the generic, generic dudes die, new ones come in from the gang, and eventually you, they all get killed off, and only he'll come back. No, I don't think we want him. 
I will recruit him at some point and show you, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Big bro. Good, then keep them from attacking me, Conan. If you'd be oh so kind. We know he's not gonna be. Wait, uh, let's eat some food. I'm kinda hurt here thanks to all this stupidity. Let's eat some scallops. Scallops are delicious. And let's watch this guy eat the whole thing. He just ate the whole freaking box. He didn't even stop, man. He's a monster. Agility increased, willpower increased, and stamina up. Alright, that works good enough for me. There's better stuff to buy in the next town, so we'll worry about that when we get there. No dragons. Good. Nice. Just took that guy out hard. And I am a big fan of using chains as weapons. The uh, bars are not as good, because when you're attacking this way, if someone comes from behind, you can still pick them off by swinging your chain. Man, I hate, in every single group of ten, there's one that's slightly stronger than the rest. And all the frat boys ran away again. What a bunch of chickens. As soon as they see that I'm not completely toast. And they just regroup on the next screen anyway. Bunch of jackasses. So this is why running is an effective way to deal with stuff. Oh god, I gotta get out of the way. See, everything's narrow. Yeah, that's why we need to get out of the way. Oh god. <laughs> you gotta be careful with your ally. He does stupid things sometimes. Oh my god. Poor Dean. Dean Malenko. The vanilla midget. Just got took an ass whopping. Alright, here we go. The first boss of the game. Moose. Yeah. Okay. Oh god. This is why having an ally sucks. And see, see how tough he is? And how many great attacks he has? He might actually kill my ally if I let him. Holy god, he's taking my dragon kicks here and just ignoring them. Come on. Oh, nice. And if one of your allies runs out of stamina, they're gone until you go to the next screen. So keep that in mind. Nicely done. Don't throw him into me, you dummy. I don't need that hit detection problem. Would you maybe want to take him out? I'm just going to sit up on this wall and let you... Okay, good. If he has a pylon in his hand, he... You dumbass! He sent him hurtling into the freaking abyss. That kills him. But we don't get the money from the fight. And he's got like... Four dollars, roughly. Four dollars, twenty cents, maybe? Thanks a lot, dummy. Alright, what do we got here? <laughs> Ooh, a scandal rag. I have to read up on all the nasty goings-on. Have to see what's going on in the world. Oh no, Kim Kardashian's uh, divorcing uh, Humphreys? No, exactly. This just increases your willpower. That's all it's good for. What do we got here? Looks like a French Italia. I don't even know what to say to that. Ooh. I think I have the fly lice. What do we got? Just shove the whole... He ate the whole plate with chopsticks. That man is skilled. All right. Got a little more strength and a little more stamina. And, uh, and, uh, and this is, of course, the most famous place in here. Let's get ourselves a Merv Burger. Merv Burgers. They're delicious. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. So now we're back a little more in the pink here. And these places are the most important places in the game. Because they sell great healing items to take with you on the road. So I'm going to buy myself a lion's milk. And I guess I'll buy myself a love potion just for fun. And despite what it says, that it, it probably just raises a whole lot of stamina because it's a love potion, you see. It's all about stamina. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, guys? Hey? Hey? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah. Oh, do you now? How oh, do you now? But please save Sydney before you fight him. All right, fine. Wait, the far right room on the top floor, but is that coming from, like, what side of the school? That doesn't tell me anything. Unless there's only one way onto that, onto the floor of each, of each floor of the school, like one staircase or elevator. But that seems like a really silly way to design a building. It's not very safe. What if there's a fire on that staircase? How would people evacuate the school? Did you think about that? No, you didn't, Technos and Atlas. You both certainly did not think about that. Anyway, there's an optional um, optional boss right down here. 
Well, let's go see what's going on, boyos. It's Benny and Clyde. And their special technique allows them to throw weapons that, that actually go in uh, nice flight patterns like that. And once they get rid of their, their weapons, you can actually uh, try to guard the weapons because they'll, they'll often go for weapons. You can use it as an opportunity to uh, keep them from doing something effective. Without weapons, they're not near as good as they can be. Just gotta be careful because our partner there is gonna do something stupid here eventually. Oh, nice. Benny is down. <laughs> they like running into walls. <laughs> Alright, here's what I was talking about. So you grab in the air, crank them. And then that's all you gotta do over and over. So now that we beat them, they'll appear later in the game. And in the NES game, by the way, you could fall in a river over here, but it's uh, gone magically. Alright. What do we got on the bridge here? The Rockers. These guys are probably a little outside my... Ow. Outside my league right now. But, you know, that's the that's the, the way things work sometimes. So I may have to start doing a little bit of foul play killing here. That's just the way it works, though. Hey, stop kicking the wrong way. Oh, dude, you ran right into my foot. That must have hurt. <laughs> you just spiked that dude off the other dude. <laughs> Hey, stop it. Ow, don't throw weapons, that's not nice. You got them, dude, they're dead. Come on. Oh, I was hoping you get in range of my fist. Not that my fists do any damage whatsoever, because I don't have very good technique with them. <laughs> man, oh man, they are tough buggers. Look at these. Holy God. This guy just took a bunch from me. And he's got more in the tank still. He's got to be careful what my idiot partner's up to. At least when he has a weapon, he's not flying across like a fist of fury here. Come on. Hurry up and spike them already. I hit the guy in the ground by swinging that dude in a circle. That doesn't make a lick of sense. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't punch my partner in the face. Rock! You are a loser, Zach. Good work. Let's go. Whee! Now what? The frat boys are back. And they're the type of guys I want to fight. 40 Hey. Oh, that's got to hurt. They're 40 cents a, uh, a takedown. And they fall pretty damn easy. Just gotta be careful what I'm doing, because my idiot partner can screw me at any time, as I've said. Oh, dude. That's gotta hurt. Let's throw weapons for a while, because that's a fair way to fight. There you go. Kick in the face. Oh, God, he's got a tire. You can do some pretty funny stuff with the tire. It's not a great weapon, but you can do some funny, funny stuff with tires. Give me that weapon. There we go. Perfect. Alright, let's see if I can get something funny with the tire set up here. Whee! Riding a tire! Yeah, it works better when an enemy throws it and you jump on it. You just go rolling along at 100 miles an hour. Anyway, let's see what's next. More frat boys. That's fine by me. Oh, God! Thanks a lot, jerk face. You have the face of a jerk. A jerk. I don't blame that guy for running away. A pylon cone? Did he just stab that guy with a pylon cone right in the face? There's something hilarious about that. Gotta be careful, because these damn tight quarters... Oh, I should have known better. Because I was trying to get to that money, though. I was being greedy. Well, let's go use uh, our love potion. Toughness increased and stamina maxed out. That's good, but we have no willpower now. None at all. This is not good. Oh, dude. Crank them hard. Oh, well. We'll have to be careful. Well, who we got in here? Oh, we're on the mob's turf. Well, I don't know about you guys, but the mob kind of scares me, so that's probably a good spot to stop for now. Join us tomorrow. We'll take on the mob in the WSL warehouse. And maybe we'll run into the second uh, second uh, guy from this very gang. 
because Rocco is wearing a gray suit. He's a part of the mob. His boss, sorry, Moose, his boss Rocco, who runs this warehouse, is in charge of the mob. And we'll see what he's got to Murrah.